Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make the back rims in the most easy and efficient way. This is going to be a multiple part tutorial, so make sure to subscribe to see the other parts over the next few weeks. So the first thing is making the rim, and for this I'm just going to make a hallway first. So I'm going to go into edit mode and extrude this out. And you can just do this in all different ways, extruding it. You can also loop cut and just add smaller hallways and then there's the cane pixels kind of back rooms where it's mostly bigger rooms with a lot of walls inside so an easy way to do that is you can for example if i want to do it here i can make a bigger room and then i'm just going to add another cube and i'm just going to make it smaller and now you can just mess around with this because it will be the right level and if you don't want it to clip you can just delete the top and bottom and delete it with faces and then go back down but make sure to hold control so it locks but yeah now you can just mess around and add these around the place just like this but i will carry on with these kind of rules later because there's another thing we have to do before copying pasting these around the place so now when you're happy with what you've got you can then add some wall bases on so you just go in edit mode and control r for loop cut and then i'm going to use this to make sure i can get a precise height on all of the wall bases so for in here i'm gonna go 0.95 and then if i click three and that will be faces mode on edit mode i can then hold alt and click on the edge and it will select all of them you can also then pick and choose what walls you want to have the wall base so for example if i don't want this wall here to have it i can just delete them from here and when you've got that you can just alt e and then extrude faces along normals also you can hold shift to be more controlled and i'm just going to pull that out a bit so now i've got this now we can sort out these individual walls so i'm just copy one over and i'm going to make one have a wall base and one not so i can use some as wall bases and some as not so again control r place it and then i can just go 0 0.095 and like i said before alt and click on the corner alt e and along normals now that you've got this though you cannot just scale it along these axes because these will get longer so whichever one you want to do you just want to select these two with shift click you can just do these two or these two so i'm going to make this a bit longer and this is an example that you're going to get some clipping going on so if this ever happens what you can do is scale this up just a tiny bit and then move this either a bit below it or a bit higher and as you can see then it's not clipping and you won't really see this little imperfection if you just do it a bit off so now as you can see i've got all this scene finished and this is just three individual textures the floor the walls and the ceiling so if i add this now i can just go to shading options and add a new first i'm going to name this walls i'm going to click the plus add a new and do floor or carpet add another one and name it ceiling now i want to click what i want this to assign to so the ceiling is going to be the roof so if i just select all of this then i'm going to assign this to ceiling then i'm going to do the same with the floor and just select all of the floor and assign that to floor now if we're going to the material preview you can see walls will be one color floor will be another color and ceiling is another color so now we can add the textures and they'll be in the google drive down in the description if you have them installed and if you have node wrangler installed if you don't go to preferences add-ons and search up node wrangler there but anyways yeah control shift t and then search up your texture and then you can select the ones that you want add the albedo height normal and roughness and it will end out looking like this so all you want to do is click tab and if you've selected this last that's fine or you can go to select similar select and material if you've just selected one so i'll show you that now so you select that select select similar and material and it select all of that material then you click u and cube project and then you can also drag from here if you go up here and then click 
and then left click and drag you can then open a uv editor and then you can just click a on this and scale this up and i'd, I'd recommend going inside to see what it would look like you can just scale this all the way up like that i'm then going to actually delete this displacement and add a bump in between them and add that to height because then i can control it very easily because i only want a little bit of bump then we can do the walls and it's just a yellow texture with a pattern on it like this you can also use color ramps if you have other colored wallpapers and i will show you that now so this is the one that kane pixels used and i'm just going to download this in 2k and this is one example of showing how you can change this color to like a yellow kind of tan color so i'm going to do the same thing get the wallpaper i'm gonna get all of them so yeah as you can see it looks like this but if i had a color ramp in between here and then make this black one a yellowy kind of color and then you can just mess around with this i'm just going to do this because in editing you can change this a lot by taking a color grade off of another type of video and then all we have to do is add that to these as well so just remember to add this to all of these walls individually You can then select all of them with shift click and go in edit mode and again cube project it to make sure it matches up with the other wallpaper then the last texture is the ceiling and we have two options here we can either make it an actual model or we can just add a texture so first i'm gonna add a texture and that is just again the same thing downloading a texture from a website and this is the one from textures.com so i'm just going to do these three i'm not even going to get the metallic one and then the same thing as before select similar and then cube project that again i'm going to get rid of this displacement and add an actual bump because i can then turn this down whenever i need i'm just going to do it to like 0 0.8 there was also an ambient occlusion here so what i'm going to do to that is add a mix rgb and then put this color into the bottom like that and then change it from mix to multiply and a little thing that not a lot of people actually do is if they go here and then face orientation you can see it's all red so if we select everything so a then go to mesh normals and flip and then this will all be right the 3d way of doing a ceiling is adding in a plane then going in edit mode and clicking i insetting it a bit and then deleting this inside selecting everything and extruding it up a bit and then adding an array to it if i just do 10 that way and then adding another array and going down this way you can then add this in and this is what i use for pretty much all of my office kind of renders or older buildings this should probably be four otherwise it will look too big and then you just add a ceiling texture on and for an example for the lights all you do is add a plane and then slotting it in between these holes here like that and then you'd add the emission onto it for this tutorial though i'm just going to be showing you how to do it this kind of way so one thing is i find this carpet a bit dark so i'm just going to lighten that and that's really easy again i can use a color ramp so just add a color ramp in i'm then going to change this color to a kind of brown color so I might make it a bit more white just like that and then i'm going to drag this up and this one up a bit as well now we have the lights and people do this in two kind of ways they either add planes or cubes for this tutorial i'll be using planes because that's what i always use but all you're going to do is add this to the top make sure it's lined up with the tiles then i'm going to name this light and i'm going to delete this and add an emission and connect that into surface if i then turn this to cycles and emissions only work in cycles and they're going to turn this to gpu and denoise on as you can see it's not bright at all so if i turn this up to about 10 you can see that it's white and we want it to be more yellow so i'm just going to bring this up a bit i've also just changed the wallpaper a bit so if you want this color of wallpaper this is what i've got yeah i'm gonna do this sort of thing with the light this color and i'll just add these around the place
so i've just finished adding it to this bit and this is what it looks like i'd say it looks pretty good i'm just gonna add a few more down here because it's pitch black and i think i'm gonna add some single ones because then it'll add some variety to it So now there is the details and this is things like smoke detectors, vents and more detailed lights, maybe even stains on the carpet and decals. So the air vents and air detectors I have actually found on Blender Kit. I can literally put smoke and here's a smoke detector. And in this situation, there's not really any point of modelling it if it's just here because it's a little detail that you're going to see but you don't need to look up close for it maybe scale it down a bit like that and you can see it's just a little detail that's there and then there is vents and these are two kind of vents so you can see if i put vent you get this kind of vent and this kind of vent so if i just move this over here and i'm just gonna flip this 180 and for an example i'm just going to add this here and if you hold alt and middle click and drag down it'll do this then you can easily fit this into your scene then I'm just going to use the loop cuts to move them around. But then if I delete these two and faces, now you can see this air vent. And I'm just going to scale it up a bit and then move it like that. Now you've got an easy air vent that you can even model a little vent above it. So as you can see here, this is a light that I've modeled. So I'm just going to drag this down. And you just do the same thing with a loop cut where you just line it up. But I'm not going to add this light in, so I'm just going to show you what it would look like in the scene. But if you want to see how to model this, you can join my YouTube as a member. I have some behind the scenes stuff, extra tutorials, and you get early access to videos. There is a lot more stuff like community polls and all that kind of stuff, just for the members. But yeah, as you can see, it looks like this. So it's a lot more realistic, and it's this light just without the cover on top. Then we've got the carpet stains, and this is quite easy actually all you have to do is add a color ramp and then a mix rgb then you can just plug that into there plug this color on the bottom and then the factor into factor then turn this to multiply and you can see if i move this you can see a slight texture here and if i drag this down you can see it gets darker and then it looks like this lastly we've got decals and there are a lot of them on quixel so there are a lot of decals here but i'm just going to download this leakage in 2k and i'll show you how to actually add it into your scene so i'm just going to add a plane and then here i can then Control shift t search the texture up and then add it and then go into rendered mode you can see that we've got this here so I'm just going to add this to the wall and again we can add the color ramp and just lower this down make it less visible so you can have something like that so this is part one finished the next part will be other kind of environments and different architecture so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that video also remember to like and I hope you enjoyed